Hello everyone, your favorite Night Owl here with an episode of Monster Stories and Gameplay, where I tell monster stories while I play. When we get started, the original providers of these stories believe them to be true. I have no means to confirm nor deny these stories, as such it's up to the individual hearing them in order to determine if they believe it or not. Alrighty then, check out my subscribe star account, DSR Varulvin Pack, if you'd like to help a small creator out. Alrighty then, like, share, and subscribe, and let's get on with it, shall we? Today's story was provided by a local individual who would like to remain anonymous. Alrighty then, as the individual did not provide a title, I provided a title based on the content of the story. If you'd like your story to be told, please leave it down in the comments section below. Subscribers to my Subscribestar account will have their stories prioritized. The title of the story is... They're in the mist and woods by Anonymous. It had been several years since me and my family moved into our new home. The home was effectively an hour's drive from our nearest neighbor. It had a lot of strange features as the original owner must have been a particularly paranoid individual. As all the windows had heavy iron bars and the doors had thick iron locks like you'd expect to see on a fortress wall. The home was also filled with various crawl spaces, escape routes. Attic, the basement, had several hidden rooms in it. We believed them just to be for storage. And the home appeared to be quite old. The realtor seemed quite excited to get the home off of their hands and it was for a very good price, so we assumed it was an all-round good buy. After about a year, we began to notice that mist would set in almost every morning, even on times of year where there wasn't really supposed to be any. The dogs had a habit of barking through the night, however, we didn't put much thought to it. Every now and again, one of them would go missing, and we figured they just got out and ran into the woods wasn't unheard of, especially in our area, as the neighbors would frequently complain about similar occurrences with their dogs and other pets that they own. One individual stated that they had three pigs go missing in one night. Unfortunately, we did not put much heed to what we'd been told and just continued on with our usual lives. This, however, led to problems later on as one night I began to hear scratching from inside the walls. Many of the walls were hollow and led to small crawlways out of the house. These crawlways were generally locked and we made sure to reinforce them. Some we even bricked over. The next day me and my father went out in order to check all the door entrances to the house, the doors, the windows, and we found scratch marks all over by one of the areas we had bricked in, and the bricks completely torn out. We got a little bit worried, however, we didn't appear to see anything in, so we just re-bricked it up and went about our business. Later that night, my father came back and gr grabbed a flashlight and we went into the walls just to look around just to see before the end that we went down to bed as the night came to an end as we ended up spending the whole night just wandering around the various spaces in the house we began to hear the same scratching marks that we had heard beforehand this time louder the marks being left by these scratches would suggest a rather large animal However, we did, wasn't quite sure what it was. All we knew was we didn't want it in the house. Later that day, after we'd all gotten some rest, my dad came back and had requested some assistance setting up some traps. My father rarely liked the concept of causing harm to an animal. However, we didn't like the concept of a wild animal being stuck in our house with us especially if it got trapped in the walls. So, we figured we'd set some traps. That night, we heard the scratching and we heard a few traps go off 
and we figured the next day we'd find something. Instead, we found our traps completely torn apart. So, my father, who was an avid hunter, despite being a lover of animals, decided he would get one of his old rifles. He had stopped hunting at the request of my mom, who was a nature activist. So, he stuck them into storage rather than selling them. After he'd got them out, he took me down to a local sporting goods store, which was about a two-hour drive away, to pick out my own rifle. I picked a rifle that was on sale and 243 Winchester. It seemed like a good price and I didn't know what calibers would be best and my father didn't seem to think 243 would be too much for whatever we were dealing with. That night we decided to take in our dogs into the house to, and let them roam free. We decided to take a flashlight and begin walking through the various crawl spaces in the house together. Eventually father decided to take his own route and I decided to kind of hang out at one of the distances that I could see where he was going at the same time watch other routes. This led to an unfortunate incident as I saw my father drop his flashlight and fire a couple shots. Proceeded to run my way, yelling at me to turn the other way and get out from the walls. I was not sure what he was talking about, but with his panicked expression, I decided to heed his warning. We both managed to get out although I hadn't seen anything. My father decided to explain what he saw. He said at first it looked like a particularly large rat, about the size of a human being. However, the rat then began to get up and turn around and look at him. It seemed to bare its teeth at him and he fired a few shots before running my way in a panic. This, however, didn't concern me that much because I figured he just got freaked out seeing a, a wild dog caught in the walls after it would gotten in. So he decided for us to go outside. The mist had settled in and I began to see shadows in the mist. My dad, my father looked particularly unhappy at what he was seeing so I decided to raise my rifle. Out from the mist stepped a number of creatures, which fit my dad's description, a abnormally sized rat standing on its hind legs. Rather than take a shot, I decided just to continue to keep on staring as they'd yet to come off as particularly aggressive. My father decided it would be best if we head in and tapped me on the shoulder and told me to get inside. He followed right behind and we shut and locked the door. My mom came out and father explained that from now on all the doors and windows are to be reinforced and they're to start looking for a new home. The rest of the night we heard them clawing at the sides of the house and my mother decided she wanted to go see what they were. She cracked the door open as me and my father ran to stop her. There one of the creatures stood and she freaked out and proceeded to run the opposite direction. I fired a few shots and they didn't seem to do anything to the creature in question. So, my father rushed to the door and slammed it shut and barricaded it. My mother, fr still freaking out, demanded to know what we had seen, and we explained to her how many 
we estimated were outside and that there were some still in the walls. She agreed that soon we will move out of the house. However, over the years we have decided to remain just coexisting with the creatures. Hello everyone. Thank you for your time. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my subscribe star account, DSR of a Ruven Pack, if you want to help a small creator out. I do prioritize stories that are left by subscribe scars subscribers. Leave your stories in the comment section below. Alrighty then, see everyone around!